financial accounting. We've been talking about adjusting journal entries and I'd like to talk to you about accruals. Now accruals means at the end of the period uh, after we've cruised through that trial balance and said you know some of those assets belong in expenses and some of those liabilities belong in revenue we sit back and think about hmm, are there some other things that we have done in other words used but haven't yet paid for but I do owe for it and is there some revenue that I've earned but I haven't yet received and there is and these are called accruals. Accrual adjusting entries means that cash is going to happen in the future, in the next period. But we want to recognize the expenses and the revenue now. So let's take a look at the first set. And I like to refer to it as expense now, pay later. The reason I like to look at it as expense now, pay later, is because it's always debit something expense and credit something payable. And the amount is how much we've used or consumed, but I'll pay for it later. Good examples of this are like income taxes. At the end of the year, do you owe your taxes? Sure do, but when are you going to pay them? Next period, later. So income tax is an example. You might also have an example with uh, notes payable. If you have a note where you owe other people money, uh, isn't that note also accruing interest? Interest that you owe, but when will you pay it? Later. So notes payable, interest expense, interest payable is what you use when you accrue interest on those notes that you're not paying at the end of the year, but you'll pay when? Later. So income taxes, notes payable. The other one that you'll see is salaries and wages. You have folks that work for you. Those folks get paid, say, every Friday. But the year end or the period end, say, ends on a Wednesday. You need to recognize in this year that you owe them for their work on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday through year end, but when will you pay them? Friday. So another example of debit salaries and wages expense, credit salaries and wages payable, where I'll expense Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday now, but when will I pay them? Friday. So that's one set of accruals. Expense now, pay later. The other set of accruals I like to call receive later, but it's revenue now. So here the entry is always debit something receivable, generally accounts receivable, and credit some revenue account. So for example, and the amount here is what you have earned, but when will you get the money? Next year. So for example, um, I'm a plumber, I get called New Year's Eve, I go out, do the service call on New Year's Eve, but heck, I'm not going to stick around to say, pay me now, I'm going to what? Say, I'll send you a bill. So is that where on New Year's Eve, did you earn revenue because you were a plumber, but when will you receive it? Later, next year when you send them a bill because, hey, you got a New Year's Eve party to go to. So these are the types of things that you'll see where it says receive later, revenue now. So that's usually when you render services. The other one that you might see is notes receivable. So here, if I owe, uh, have lent somebody money and that note receivable is accruing interest, Again, will I have a debit to interest receivable and a credit to interest income because I am earning that interest, but when will I see the cash? Next period. So whether I'm a plumber rendering services to the stroke of midnight or whether I have notes receivable that I've lent somebody else, you too can make this adjusting entry where it says I'll receive the cash later, but it's revenue now. Thank <laughs> you.